So this is not gonna be less than a minute because I'm having some thoughts that I'm pretty sure are not going to be contained in less than a minute. But the word is sober. The word is sober, sobriety. Now, I have been sober as far as alcohol, because that word tends to go with, with alcohol and addiction. I've been sober for decades, four decades. But it's interesting because that word has come back up in my life in, in regards to, you know, in my mind, stay sober. What is sobriety? What does being sober minded mean? And recently it's come, that word has come back up and it's easy to get confused in our life with feeling anxious or depressed and getting that confused with sober-mindedness. Sometimes being sober could be confused with feeling like, ah, oh, it's not so good. Or, ah, oh, I'm feeling a little meh or low-grade depression or just feeling not, not, very, not very good. I think in our culture, I don't wanna say Western culture, I think the world, the whole world deals with this. We're always, as human beings, looking for the ideal. We're looking for the, the mountaintop. I know I am. My personality, my culture, my, my upbringing, even, even the, the churches, the theology that I've heard over the years has, has kind of a little taintedness of mountaintop. Mountaintop is where it's at. That's it. But there's a scripture in the Old Testament that says God is both the God of the hills and the valleys. And I know in this scripture, it's talking about terrain and geography. But I do believe the typology can be likened to, my left, my right hand gets tired now, I gotta do it on my left hand. It can be likened to um, emotions, life, the journey of life. God is both the God of the hills, the hills and the valleys. And I was thinking about that just uh, metaphorically, the, the valleys are so much longer. Think about it. You just look at the mountaintops. The valleys are like long and drawn out. The mountaintop, just one little tiny beep, and then another valley. And I think that to be sober as a um, believer in God, a Christian, as a, a counselor, as a person, as a human being, the human condition, to be sober is to walk in reality, is to walk in the truth of things. This side of heaven or in this world, we are going to have trouble. And to be sober minded about it is to know the truth, is to know what's true about this life. And, and I always like to post things about Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes is a wisdom book and um, kind of like Proverbs, it's full of wisdom. It's full of the reality of life. And so if you think about the word sober, being sober minded, it's talking about walking in the truth, in the reality of life. And so for me, I tend to get wackadoodle and think my life's bad because it's, I'm not on some little mountaintop experience. Everything's not perfect. I'm not, it's not all perfect. And that's that all or nothing thinking that, that glitches our system. But sobriety of all types, and I'm not just talking about not drinking alcohol. You could be a dry alcoholic, so you could be still not sober-minded, but just maybe not drinking alcohol. It doesn't mean you're sober-minded. Um, so being sober is walking in the truth, sober-minded. And it doesn't mean that you're going to be on a mountaintop and, and full of you know, sobriety can mean that you're just kind of feeling the wave, you know, riding the wave, being in the window of tolerance. I like to talk about the window of tolerance where we're accessing both our emotions and our uh, rational brain. And we're all cohesive. We've got the full deck of cards going. We've got our prefrontal cortex is where we think executive functioning, our, our um, rational thought, uh, critical thinking here in front. It's physically here in front. So it's kind of like the headlight, but then our emotional brain is a big part of our life and it should not be cut off. We can't have a full deck of cards if we're not in tune to our emotions because they speak from a different place. The limbic system here in our mid section, then we've got our amygdala in the back of our brain. That's our body brain, the somatic brain in that we, um, we need to be connected to our 
mind-body connection in both accessing emotion and rational thought. So think about the word sobriety or being sober-minded. What does that look like to walk in reality? Another term that goes along these lines is um, radical acceptance. Radically accepting what is true. And that honestly takes a load off because then you don't fall into some sort of too low, you know, you're, you're able to control your, your, your highs and your lows in that you're in a sober window of tolerance. Uh, doesn't mean we can't have high and mountaintop experiences. I've had many of them or, or the low really suffering, deep, horrible life experiences. I've had a lot of those too, but we don't want to confuse the regular ordinary days with confusion about I should be up at a mountaintop or, and then that might just drop you like a hot potato and you bring you down into, to a valley. So think about sobriety and soberness, sober, sober mindedness. And, um, that, that just helps me. So I want to pay it forward. And, uh, recently I was told that some of these pick me up posts are helpful. So it kind of motivated me and I thought, well, what's on my mind? What helps me? Let me pay that forward. So this is kind of a long one. It's six minutes and 32 seconds. Um, catch you on the other side.